Hello everybody, Sega Rex here, and welcome to part two of the Skull Crawler build. And in this part, we will be attaching the tail to the body, the uh, legs to the body, getting the head put together, and getting that attached to the body. Alright, so in this part, we'll be doing the head and all that stuff, and we'll need two fix, and you'll need a band for the next section. Because here is a simple setup. This is the body. This is the neck, alright? Now this could get loose over time, and I've had had some of my um, previous builds legs get loose and not be able to stand um, anymore. So what I'm doing inside here is it's going to be for a band. It's going to be not too tight, but just tight tension enough so when the neck moves up and down, it will, you know, be able to stay back into that neutral position where it is, alright? So, and I also ended up cutting out additional to a left and a right of these. Because um, I might be doing a little something different with the head and how the jaws attach and stuff. Alright, so, anything else? No, that is it. We'll be using, of course, pins. So we'll get that. Hot glue gun. So everything, again, we're ready to go. Anything else? Nope. So, without anything else to say, let's begin the build, shall we? Hope you enjoy it.
And here we come to the end of part two of the Skull Crawler build. And here he is, and he looks pretty good. I ended up not using this uh, feature at all due to the fact that it, that the pins and everything, how it fit in here, was nice and tight already. So this was a nice idea, but did not need it. So here he is, and he's looking pretty good. Now to tighten joints that are loose, all you need to do is put hot glue in between the joints and then move the joints around um, to create tightness in there. So that's all I do to make these areas more tighter and stuff. So that's what I've done there. Um, tails turned out pretty good. And articulation is there. I can look up that far. You can move down that bit. If I cut a little bit more out here, I can move down a little bit more. But hey, you can look pretty far down. Yeah, and I'm pretty happy with it. You know, the jaw can open and close. I'm um, pretty good. Look at that. That looks, that's, that look good. That looks nice. Um, so at, at this point, clearly it needs to be cleaned up a little bit more. I'll be doing that off camera pretty much. All I'm going to be doing is taking my hot glue gun here and just smoothing out the glue bits and getting it all cleaned up and finished little um, touch-ups here and there. And then after that, I'll be covering him in must stand in Elmer's glue and this is really important if you all do in the build make sure to cover him all in Elmer's glue which is what I'll be doing and that Elmer's glue presents a nice sealant and a nice um, coat to actually paint on um, so yeah so this is end of part two and hope you enjoy it and I'll see you all in part three where we paint this guy up and until then have a great day and goodbye everybody